Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolik. Today we're talking about the celiac iceberg. So we have done a book review on the gut. So that just um, is the tip of the iceberg when we're talking about um, celiac disease. So it's now um, thought to be at a rate of one in every 100 people are being diagnosed with um, celiac disease. But what the latest research is understanding is that it may not actually be genetic rather than a normal response of the immune system. So those who are celiac have the disease or have gluten sensitivities, they're saying that you're actually normal and your immune system is responding in the correct way to what they call the allergen. Okay, so when things go into our body and we have sensitivities to it, we can't break it down, the allergic response is the symptoms you get um, from being diagnosed, I guess, with celiac disease. So what they're saying is it may not be in the actual genes, but it's more what they are exposed to. So we have the article link for you to read because it's a very, very um, interesting article. And they talk about what we eat and what we're exposed to. That's what's actually affecting the DNA and the expression um, in our cells. So they say it's being characterized by gastrointestinal symptoms, malabsorption, and it leads to malnourishment. So this affects us here at Absolute Hair Health Clinic because we're dealing with a lot of autoimmune problems and deficiencies that are affecting hair loss, hair thinning, different types of alopecia. There's all sorts of different scalp conditions um, as well. So it's a big lesson to learn about the sensitivity. So even if you don't have celiac disease, it's not a bad thing for you to protect the immune system with good bacteria. We would always use antioxidants or phytochemicals as well. Avoid the nutritional deficiencies and if we adapt to a grain, uh, wheat free, dairy free and sugar free diet, then we have a better chance of proper absorption for health, body health and hair health as well. So for more information or if you can't find the link, I can send you the link. Always email me, it's info at